All right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to solve the problem 50 to the power of 50 over 25 to the power of 25. So I want to find the solution to this problem. So to start, I have 50 to the power of 50 over 25 to the power of 25. And I'm going to first rewrite this as 50 to the power of 25 plus 25. So now I have 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 over 25 to the power of 25. And the reason I rewrote 50 to the power of 50 as 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 is because now I can use an exponential property that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So I would highly recommend that you memorize this because this can be also be used later in math. So 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 using this property turns into 50 to the power of 25 times 50 to the power of 25. And I still have this over 25 to the power of 25. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 50 to the power of 25 times 50 to the power of 25 over 25 to the power of 25. And now I can use another property that states that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So this is equal to 50 to the power of 25 times 50 over 25 to the power of 25. Now, this turns to 50 to the power of 25 times, well, 50 divided by 25 is 2, so times 2 to the power of 25. Now, another property I can use, and which will be the final property of this video, is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So you are basically just factoring out the exponent. So in this case, I have 50 to the power of 25 times 25 to the power of or sorry, times 2 to the power of 25, and this can be rewritten as 50 times 2 to the power of 25. Now, 50 times 2 is 100, so I get 100 to the power of 25. However, I'm not done yet because I'm actually going to simplify this a little more. 100, I can rewrite as 10 squared. So I get 10 squared to the power of 25. And if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 25 is going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 25, which is equal to 10 to the power of 50. So 10 to the power of 50 is my answer to this problem. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, please share this to your friends if you find this interesting. Thank you. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 1. So to solve this problem for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my problem. So I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 1. And let's first ignore the minus 1 here and just focus on this 2 to the power of 18. So 2 to the power of 18, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9 times 2. So I just wrote 18 as 9 times 2. And now an important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m 
to the power of n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 9 times 2. And I can rewrite that as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. So, going back to my original problem with the minus 1, I get 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 1. And now 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So I'm going to rewrite 1 as 1 squared. So I get 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. And the reason I did that was because now I can use this property. a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So I have 2 to the power of 9 squared minus 1 squared. So a is 2 to the power of 9 and b is 1. So now I get 2 to the power of 9 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 1. Now what is 2 to the power of 9? Well, 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 3. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. Well, what is 2 to the power of 3? 8, right? Meaning this is equal to 8 to the power of 3, which is equal to 8 times 8 times 8, which is equal to 512. So 2 to the power of 9 is 512. So now I get 512 plus 1 times 512 minus 1. So 512 plus 1 is equal to 513. And 512 minus 1 is equal to 511. So I get 513 times 511. And now there is a simpler way. Instead of multiplying these two using the normal method like this, there is a faster way, faster and more efficient way to do that. And how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to rewrite 513 as 500 plus 13 and 511 as 500 plus 11. So this way, I can distribute the 500. So I get 500 times 500, which is 500 squared, plus 500 times 11, plus, now I can just use 13, Thirteen times five hundred plus thirteen times eleven. Now it's much easier to solve this. Five hundred squared is two hundred fifty thousand. And five hundred times eleven is fifty five hundred. Thirteen times five hundred is sixty five hundred. And finally, 13 times 11 is 143. So now I'm going to add all these up. 5,500 plus 6,500 is 12,000. 250,000 plus 12,000 is 262,000. And 262,000 plus 143 is equal to 262,143. So my final answer is 262,143.